Hi, we're Josh and Vanessa, a Canadian couple driving our 1994 Toyota Land Cruiser from BC, Canada down to Argentina. But this isn't just a highlight reel. We're here to show you all the ups and downs, the lessons learned, and the memories made along the way. We are destined for wild. the border this morning. Um, we also crossed with some new friends that we just met yesterday, uh, Yannick and Sandra, and they are from Switzerland. They are driving a Delica. <laughs> they're actually driving past us right now and filming. <laughs> but they're also driving a Delica. Um, this is them right there. They're driving. They're driving with us to um, a little campground. We're going towards um, the city David, David in Panama and we're just gonna stop there for the day because the border crossing it, it was fine but it took a long time and then we kind of got scanned by one of these guys posing as an insurance guy but he actually was like a fixer where they like kind of like hustle you and trying to like push you to like let, let them help you but then they ask for money at the end anyways he's still really nice we did give him a little bit of money but it was still like did love that he scammed us and tricked us like that but he got in a full like insurance uniform yeah so we're kind of like, oh, okay, you work for the insurance company. Yeah. And then at the end, we're, you kind of said you work for the insurance company. He's like, no, I don't, so you have to pay me. Yeah. But he had a uniform from the insurance company, which was yeah. obviously confusing. So if you ever do land crossings like this in Central and South America, definitely be aware of those kind of people because there are a lot of people, they're, they're, they're locally known as like fixers, but they, they'll try and like, scam you and try and like push you to like let them help you and then they'll ask for money at the end um we ended up just giving him a little, a little tip because we're like didn't love that you lied to us kind of thing but he was helpful so we do appreciate that so we did want to give him something but yeah now we're, we're in panama we aren't spending a ton of time here because uh josh and i have actually been here before for um, um we we're chaperoning for a high school program and we got to see the whole country through that and that was very cool we spent a month here in 2017 and do that and now we are driving, making our way towards Panama City because we need to get the trucks um, inspected and everything sorted for getting it loaded onto a container for shipping. And then we're gonna fly to Colombia and wait for the truck, the meet is there. Okay, wait, why are we shipping our truck? Basically, there's a 106 kilometer stretch of land connecting Central and South America known as the Darien Gap. This stretch of land has no roads through it and consists of dense forest and marshland, which makes it extremely difficult to drive through. This land is also home to many native tribes such as the Embera and the Guna and you have to have permission to enter through this area. Since we can't drive through this portion of land, we are shipping our vehicle from Panama over to Cartagena, Colombia. This is basically the only way to get your vehicle across, other than air freight, which Paco is way too big for. But that's a problem for future us. For now, our new friend Yannick is in need of a haircut, and Josh is happy to help him out while we're camped out just past the border of Panama. This continues the saga of where can Josh give the randomest haircuts to new friends. Mm -hmm. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh cut. You're yeah, welcome. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> now I think I might cut my hair. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you have a false cut? We are getting ready to head out for the day. Uh, we stayed at this uh, nice little campground not too far from the border. Um, it was only $10 a night, which is really nice. And uh, we also camped with uh, Yannick and Sandra. Uh, we might part ways for a little bit just because we have to keep moving forward. And uh, we have to be in Panama City in a couple days. But they're going to be shipping their van pretty close to like after we are. So we might see them again in Colombia. So that's what we're hoping. We might camp with them still before we go to Panama City. But kind of depends on how fast they want to go. So. Yeah, but our plan for today is get some groceries, do some errands in um, the city of David, and then we're gonna head to Santa Catalina.
spent the next few days exploring the West Coast, surfing, relaxing, and enjoying the last bit of slowness before the craziness of shipping began. to another surf beach out here in Panama. Uh, this morning we were in Santa Catalina and we drove to another place as recommended by Overland Embassy called Camp Hotel. So we're at this nice beach here. It's got a pretty good wave here. Um, it's pretty rocky though around it. So I don't know if I personally will surf it, but Josh might. I'm a little too much of a noob for this one. So we'll see, but <laughs> it's a really nice secluded spot. We got river right coming up that way and this is really pretty. There's some locals surfing right now too. But yeah, it's a really nice spot. It's raining a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. We waterproofed the tent, so it's been okay holding out so far since we've been camping in the rain lately. So I think we should be good tonight. But it's probably gonna be pretty chill and low key. All right, we made another stop for the day. Uh, this morning we were in Cambutal. Um, we were going to surf at that beach we're at, but the waves were just a little too big and we're also crashing like right on the rocks. So we decided to not surf there, but it was still a beautiful spot to camp at. So now we're at Playa El Rincon. Just a little spot for the night before we drive towards Panama City tomorrow. But uh, while we're sitting on the beach here, we got a little dog friend that joined us. Looks like he has fleas, unfortunately, but something that we like to do is we bring treats with us wherever we go because we always want to give something to these dogs just to help them out, especially the ones that are a little more rough looking, so we give them some treats. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. Oh. Muy lindo. <laughs> Hola. Hola. There's been so many times where we wanted to just like take these dogs home that come up to us, but it'd make the trip a little more complicated, so we just don't do it for now, which is really hard. But yeah, it's a little dog friend. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Give him some water in that bowl, too. He seems happy, though. Yeah. Embassy. We are parked in or in the parking lot just down the road from the office and we've already been meeting some cool people. Josh is already working on the cutest vehicles. Thanks for checking out this one. Up in the this may seem like a random couple in a van parked next to us, but little did we know that when we pulled up next to them, these two people, Scott and Marie, would be our container buddies for shipping and ultimately become some dear lifelong friends to us. When we pulled up to the campground, Scott was trying to diagnose a problem in their van, to which he explained to us that he's never worked on a car before. Josh being Josh, came over to help Scott and helped him figure out what was going on, and that's how we started this friendship. They seemed to have figured something out that was temporary, but their van Linda was in need of a mechanic shop. Also, how cool is this beast? It's our second day at Overland Embassy. We are getting some work 
kind of like worked on it around the truck. Josh did an oil change, and now we're giving it a much needed deep clean, even cleaning the engine bay. So, the truck's gonna be happy after this. Water time. Yeah. I forgot how much it sucks to clean your own car when it's like plus 40. Yeah, we did not choose wisely timing. It's like one in the afternoon, so it's really hot. All four black today. Bad idea. I did put sunscreen on, but it did wash off, so probably gonna be crispy by the end of this. received our Wolf Box dash cam. So pretty sweet to get hooked up on the road, but I'm now gonna try and figure out how to install a dash cam in a parking lot in Panama. <laughs> it's really nice packaging. It's really nice. Sweet. Ooh. Awesome. Sweet. So this is our uh, Wolfbox dash cam. That's super sleek. It's super sleek. It's nearing the evening of day two here at Overland Embassy. Um, today we received a package from back home, including a super awesome device that um, a brand gave us as a partnership, and that is Wolfbox. They gave us this really cool backup camera slash rear view mirror kind of see right there. Josh is in the middle of installing it right now. But basically, at the front of it has a dash cam on it, so it turns into a dash cam up there. And then we also installed a little camera on the back that connects to that screen, and it also acts as a backup camera. So our rear view mirror turns into this super awesome screen that displays the front and back, or however we want. Super awesome, we're really excited for that. So thank you so much, Wolf Fox, for uh, sending that to us. We are super excited to test it out on the road. And so, that's being done right now. Josh is wiring it all in nicely. And then we're just kind of hanging out in the, this evening. Um, it finally cooled down. It was a super hot day today. <laughs> like we were sweating buckets. And we also decided that working in the middle of the day out in the sun on the truck was a great idea. So Josh changed the oil around like noon and it was super hot and he was super overheated and sweaty. <laughs> so thankfully here at the camp spot, with Overland Embassy, there is a shower, which is so nice. And then um, after oil change, we washed the truck. And then we've been kind of just hanging out for the rest of the afternoon. Josh has been tinkering a lot on the truck, kind of getting some things done that he's been wanting to do for a couple weeks. And I've been doing some work for some of my clients right now. So kind of just hanging out. Um, we have some new friends that we made here. We met our container buddies. They are Scott and Marie. They're a married couple. Uh, Marie's from Germany and Scott's from California. But they were living in Germany before they came on this trip and they're driving a really cool van, Ford van down to Argentina as well. So they're gonna ship with us and honestly, they're really cool. So hopefully we hang out with them more after this. And yeah, that's pretty much what's happening right now. And I'm gonna make some dinner. We're just hanging out and I'm warm. Josh is wiring in the rear cam into the tail light. Some serious business going on here. I also don't have any of my proper tools. What do you need? So we'll uh we'll see. Do we can I grab anything? 
Are you need? I think I'm okay. Okay. Josh? It's really cool. Yeah? Yeah, this has like our speed, our direction, uh, date, time, day, everything. It has basically everything that you could want. It has a front camera, rear camera. It has an impact sensor, so if we're in an accident, it's sweet. And like, basically we just turn the car on and we're good to go. Yeah. So it's really cool. You can adjust through to the different cameras. This is sweet. There's a lot of really cool settings on here. This is really rad. We are stuck with this. Man, I just want to play around with this for the next while. <laughs> Let's just figure Display it out. mode. This is sick. Thanks again, Wolf Box, for hooking us up. We are yeah. really stoked to test this out on the road, especially when we're in South America. Yes, this will definitely be very nice. And I can actually see it behind us now. Yeah, it's perfect. So that is perfect because. Uh, Tinted windows are very dark. Yeah, at night we're actually gonna be able to see behind us because our rear window's tinted, so when it gets dark, you can't see anything behind you. So this is a huge help. So thanks a lot, Wolfbox, for helping us out. And uh, this is definitely a game changer for this trip. To close this episode, we must show you one of the highlights of our time at Overland Embassy, and that would be this cute little chicken we named Poito, or baby doll, as Josh liked to call her. She was left behind by some other travelers, and she quickly took to us for a new home. Chickens aside, that's not everything that we want to show you of our shipping process. Stick around for part two and we'll show you more. But for now, enjoy the chicken cuddles. I thought we were going to go home with a dog, but we might be going home with a chicken. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. I didn't know they cuddled. No, she's literally trying to cuddle you. She's really cute. I feel so... Date, the chicken is now sitting on Josh's head. I made a friend and I don't know what to do now that it's on my head. <laughs> she so, seems comfy. Yeah, I'm not, but that's fine. <laughs> Coming up in our next episode. It's your matchy matchy. Just two six eight kings, you know, just hanging out.